and welcome back to Let's Play Faithful Voyage Titanic. Where we last left off, the, the ship is about to sink. And look at all this water. We must go to the first class, wherever it is. Margaret. My, my. Take this bird lap sack. Let's go to the gym. George? What are you doing here? Punch it! Yes, I can see that. You do that well. But you need to get to a lifeboat. This isn't the time to play. They wouldn't let me in here before. Now they said stay here. What? Someone told you to stay here? Who was that? Man in them shitty clothes. Said another skip would be coming for me. When did this happen? A couple minutes ago. Fine by me, I says. I'm punching. This won't do at all. I must tell one of the crew. Oh dear. This is not going well for this poor boy. We must get him to a safer place. Okay, so he's gone. These keys must have fallen from their pegs when Titanic lurched. I'm sure I could find a use for at least one of them. Okay, we're, we're at the hidden object scene. And we need to collect ten... It's either ten or nine, I'm not sure. But it's probably the same thing. We have to collect ten keys, or whatever how many keys left. So that oh boy, this is what I hate. There we go. Now we need one last hint to find the other keys, and voila, we got a bunch of keys. Now if I only knew where any of these keys went. Well, I do, right here. How am I going to match these keys with their proper pegs? Which leads us to a puzzle. Place the keys in their proper pegs. So here's the solution. For the captain's quarters is right here. Now for the storage right here. For the engine room we need this one. See for the um, boiler room right here. For the stairwell right here. Mess hall. Then for the officers' quarters. The unity room. I don't know how to pronounce that, but still. the closet and finally the gallery and voila the key to the captain's sitting room I'm sorry Thomas it would seem disturbing the captain is my destiny and next we go to another puzzle maybe I can disable the flow of oil to the aft funnel yes we must we must flip the switch to stop the flow of oil to the funnel. And here's the solution. My knack for breaking things is unrivaled. 
Really sorry that I have to do this. Captain, I don't think you understand what I'm offering you here. And I've told you, Mr. Ashley, I have equal concern for all passengers aboard. I cannot single out any person. What about women? What about children? They are singled out, aren't they? No, Mr. Ashley, I know you're upset, but... I just assume not here anymore. Yeah. Let's go to the gym. I could stand to vent a little aggression. I don't know my own strength. Say, I didn't know they filled these things with sand. And what do we do with the sand? I use this one. A bag of sand. It's no pass, but it will have to do. Yes, it will have to do in just a few moments. Okay, now we go to the captain's sitting room and unlock this door. Margaret, look, what are you doing in here? This is Ashley. You should be in a lifeboat. I should ask the both of you what you're doing in here. The captain and I were just having a discussion about ship's policy. Tedious stuff. I'm not a fool, Robert. Of course not. Look, Margaret, the situation on board is grave. You think I don't know that? I've known that for ages. I tried to tell you, but you were too busy downing drinks to listen. If you'll both excuse me, I have duties to attend to. Margaret, please. Now is not the time. Well, you're right about that, at least. Meet me at the Grand Staircase. I'll join you there momentarily. We can discuss this further then. Yes, yes, all right. Okay, is there anything we need here in this room? Well, probably not, because there's nothing interesting. Okay, let's go save Margaret's mother. By Newsy Link! Okay, let's go to the Grand Staircase. Okay, time to go to the Grand Staircase. At last, I have you both in the same place at the same time. We need to get to a lifeboat immediately. Margaret, I, I hate to rain on your parade, but I don't think it's quite that simple. Then just how would you know that, Mother? Actually, Margaret, yeah, I must agree with your mother. Okay, so this is the part where you had to choose between Robert and Margaret's mother. So... But, I believe this one could be chapter 17, but I'm not so sure. Yep, that's the spoiler, guys. Chapter 17 is probably something different. But since Margaret has a husband, let's go with him. I'll come with you, Robert. Your mother has a much better chance of getting into a lifeboat alone being a woman. Perhaps my presence will increase your odds. That's likely true. So it's settled. Bye, Margaret. I love you. I love you too, Mother. Get to a boat. Quickly. April 15. 1912, 2 a.m. I'll wait out here, Robert. 
Don't be long. Of course, this shouldn't be a second. Wait. Wh why? Why is the door to my cabin locked? Maybe one of the staff closed it to prevent people coming back to their rooms. That's brilliant. My only hope of survival lies behind that blasted door. Calm down, Robert. I'll see what I can do. Okay, this is where I end this video.